you, uh, Reverend. Um, can one still have faith without necessarily belonging to um, a, a, a religion? Oh yes. Um, or being religious. My 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 friend here um, has faith in something. Um, um, as he said, he probably will not put a name to it, but he's a pantheist. But and would you describe you would you describe yourself as having faith? Um, not so much. No, I wouldn't describe myself as having faith um, because I don't pray to this thing. I don't, you know, it, the relationship that I have with this energy isn't the same as religious people have but with what, God. How would you describe that? The energy you keep talking about. Mm -hmm. How would you describe that? How, do, do, do you feel it? I am it. We are it. It, it. it just is. I know it may be like hard for some people to grasp, but everything is energy. So is, it, is, is it life? Is it what is it's, it? It's life. Okay. It's everything. The, the, a very um, uh, simple pantheist saying is, everything is everything. Is it not the same then as the um, if in Christian Christianity terms as you know people would say the Holy Spirit? Um, no, not at all. No. Not not at all. Okay. I mean, nothing near that. And um, I would say that um, for me as a person, um, I believe I don't believe in anything. I believe in someone, and um, it's my ability to find a definition to who I believe in that is important to me. And how does that come about? It comes about by my um, ability to be able to confirm or to, to, to be able to say that this is my experience with the person that I believe in. Uh, and that's very different from what my friend is talking about. Um, I'll find it very difficult if I went into a classroom or I went into a lecture room and then my lecturer is teaching me something and then he tells me that well uh, whatever I'm teaching you has no definition it has no beginning it has no end it is everything and everything is everything I'd like to know I'd like to having a very curious mind and having um, wanting to be able to acquire knowledge and to understand things I'd like to have things defined for me and I think definition is quite important maybe sorry you, you can define things yeah, for us. I mean yeah. I th uh, personally I think the human ego um, is a very interesting thing I think the ego wants to know a lot of answers to questions that they may, you may not necessarily know okay so um, for me if um, all human beings have come to a conclusion around the globe that there is something some energy some force and then right the human ego now defines it it doesn't define itself you see so I'm choosing not to define it because I know that if I do define it I'm only going to be defining it based on my own subjective reasoning right so the Christian will define it as I said as Jesus and the Muslim will define it as Allah and all this kind of stuff and to me those are just subjective um, egotistical ways of defining something that hasn't actually defined itself so when people say oh God told me or it was God I would say no you told you that and another human being told you that and another human being told them this actual energy didn't tell you anything the actual energy just is human beings have now decided that this is what the energy said and these are the people that it chose right and this is the book that it gave me because there's no proof that this God actually exists because people um, talk um, about okay, God. Okay, what, what's the proof that the energy you're talking about exists? It's everything. You can go scientifically. We can break down atoms and p protons, neutrons and electrons in this microphone. It, it, it actually exists. It's not something that doesn't exist. It actually exists. So I'm talking about something that actually exists, but not choosing to define it. People are talking about, religious people are talking about something that they can't, they, they define, but they can't find existing. There's, there's, so it's like backwards. Reverend. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I personally would like to make it very easy for myself and for everybody listening. And I would always come back to the point of experience um, we can go scientific and talk about atoms and protons and electrons and all of that we can also go very philosophical and begin to go into high levels of theology which might not be meaningful to somebody who has woken up from 
bed this morning and listening to you and is looking for a sense of hope or even a sense of inspiration, somebody who is in a desperate situation and needs um, a voice, yeah. as he was saying, to say something to him. That voice could be from the person himself or from a, another person or another person, as my friend is saying. Um, we can go on and on and on and on and on. But then you can, for me, the most important thing is that I trace my being to a source. And everything that gives me energy, gives me inspiration, gives me encouragement, gives me life, I connect it to the source. I mean, um, it, is, it, it is up to whoever has not experienced it to say that, well, the source is not real or the source is originating from human ego or from yourself. Um, that, is, that is immaterial to me. But the most important thing is that... The source is able to drive me to do what I am supposed to do. And um, may, maybe I, I would explain that a bit further as we go on. I find it, me, I find it interesting because he says that he's chosen to, he says a source drives him, okay? And so, like I said, human beings define the source differently. So if we can use, he's used someone who needs inspiration and all this kind of stuff. So I, I always use the analogy of like, three different people you have three different alcoholics say right and they all go to an alcoholic meeting and one becomes a christian and one becomes a muslim and the other one um follows a 10 point plan right that you know the alcoholics anonymous person chosen they go away six months later they're all off alcohol and drugs and all and all of them are going to tell you it was jesus that helped me the other one's going to tell you it was allah that helped me the other one's going to tell you what well, it was Matthew from the Alcoholics Anonymous meeting, right? So the common denominator within those, within that scenario, are the human being. It was a human being that drove themselves to come off it, whereas they needed inspiration from something or someone. So for me, the common denominator in all things are human beings, whereas what we believe in, right, may drive us, but, but then, what we believe in is different. Does it not just boil down to faith? Yes, exactly, yeah. but, who, who, but who has faith? Human beings have faith. So it's all down to us. And that, and that is my point. We are the common denominator. We keep saying, oh, it's something else, it's something else, it's something else. It's us. We are the ones that have the faith. Well, very interesting. You can call in. The number is 0203-735-8820 or 